Very early on in my career, I think I emphasized lectures more so than class discussions, and I think I've shifted now at this point much more to try to integrate class discussions in, into each class. And one way I do that is uh, by assigning students to smaller subgroups, and they have a topic or a class concept that they're talking about, and, and hopefully generating some ideas around that. Uh, in their small groups, uh, an advantage of having them broken up in that way is that everybody gets a chance to talk and um, get a and they also get a chance to apply the concepts we're talking about. Then when we share out as a large class, uh, the class has the benefit of learning what, were, what areas had consensus built around them because all the groups ended up talking about those things. Uh, but sometimes by virtue of the fact that you have multiple groups discussing the same thing, a particular group might have an innovation or a new idea that then is appreciated by the whole class that may not have come up had we just used a, a traditional class discussion or just had uh, one large group talking about it.